on your purchases, we're going to do a knife sale. I have a lot of knives just sitting around, and then uh, that's kind of stopping me from getting anything else, because anytime I want to get something, uh, then I'm like, oh, you got all those knives sitting there. So I did go out and uh, actually load it to the website, so orionknives.com. So if you want to go over there uh, for orionknives.com, you can actually look at all the knives that I'm going to be talking about that I can walk you through. Uh, one of them already sold uh, for one of the Kaiser Mini Sheepdogs. Uh, but we'll talk about that while I get everything else up and running. But you can look at that box. We'll be pulling these out. And if you guys have any questions about it, then we can be talking about that, that as well. But let's see. I'm trying to get things up and running. It's been a while since I did a live stream. I should have grabbed a drink. But anyway, we have quite a few. Uh, anything from a budget all the way up to kind of a mid. Uh, so it's not going to be anything super premium. I don't really have very many super premium things. But that's what we're going to be doing. Live. So I'm going to be pulling up my computer to get some of the chats, if there's any chats going on. And I have my other phone, uh, which is like an old phone, just sitting around. But we're going to be talking about some of the knives that we're going to be uh, kind of selling, uh, going through. Let's move that up a little bit. Coming off the table. There. Oh, almost. There we go. Oh, all right. That's going to be what we're going to be doing here. So um, the chat is live on my laptop. I'm going to have my phone so I can look at the prices because I don't remember what I put them for prices. But I did go anywhere from 10 to 50% off of like a standard retailer uh, that I could find them on. But that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so they're going to start with this one here. Uh, so it's a one that is a lot of people love it. Um, I picked it up because I thought it was really cool. Um, but it just was one that I didn't carry. I felt it was a little bit uh, kind of sharper on the jimping area but this is available here and so i'm going to be starting this one out with now this is 135 available on orionknives.com there is the review and use section so you can go over there and uh, look through as far as what's on there too uh, but there's going to be the uh, 20.5 with the shark's lock and the shark foot so that's going to be what you have here so not really used at all not really carried now, but you do have a little bit of tape right there, but uh, nothing wrong with it. Uh, this is the um, probably the original uh, lineup uh, for it, but it does work still fairly well. It still has a really great lockup, so that was one thing really nice about Demco locks. Uh, but I feel it's a little bit sharp here, and it's not as fidgety as I thought it would be. Because uh, when people were talking about it, they're like, this is going to be a great thing. And I was like, I got it, and I was like, that's eh, a little odd. Uh, what's up? How's it going? But yeah. Um, but we do have it on the site, uh, so there's going to be one of the things here. So, Diver Dave, welcome. Uh, but we're going to have this one here. It says up on the website. Um, it was $149.99. It's $135 on the site. So, you do get free shipping uh, for anything over $85. Uh, is what I have for the website currently. Uh, so, if you do buy this site, there will be free shipping. That's going to be regular first class shipping uh, in the United States. Or if you do have somebody you want to send it to. Uh, they can ship it off for you as well but if you guys have any other questions let me know um, in the comments i'll be monitoring that on the laptop and then we'll kind of go through but that's going to be the first one we're going to kind of go in order of what i have it listed on the website uh, just so i can kind of keep things in order because uh, i don't know exactly where we're going for it yeah i think it's a great price i mean that's where i was trying to go anywhere from 10 to 50 percent off of like blight hq knife center whoever else sold it sold it so that's the first one there. Second one, uh, drop. Uh, this is going to be one from drop.com. I thought this was really cool when I picked it up. It's just something I haven't really carried much. Uh, so that's where it's kind of sat around and I'm going to be just putting it up for sale. Uh, the um, Caviso is taking over for drop.com. Uh, so they bought out some of the contracts and everything else. So uh, check them out. They also do have like the exclusives for penguins, uh, bokers, and some other products. So this is the Eric Oaks knife. This is the Lynx. This is a manual 2.98 inch knife. Uh, so this is going to be what it is here. It's actually made by Riot uh, for this guy here. So this is what you have here. So it's going to be really smooth. Everything's rounded out. Uh, chamfered spine. Uh, this one has RWL 34 uh, for it. So sorry, I do have a little bit of probably tape on this one too. So anything that I had, this one wasn't really used, carried, but I just cut with it a little bit to try and see what it was like. But this one is going to be also pretty much new in box. Um, this one is normally, I think it was 180. If I'm mistaken on it, let me know. But 180, uh, this one's going to be at 144. 
that's if you want to pick it up and that's going to be what this is uh, so if you also want to check out other products from drop i guess it's caviso now i don't know if they're going to change it entire bit but it's still listed as drop uh, form but they're on their website so that one is going to be that guy and again if you guys have any questions let me know uh, for what you got try and move through these quite a bit because i do have a little box like a little medium-sized priority box full of knives anywhere down to i think i have like one that's like 10 bucks at that point i was kind of like well should i just throw it away or give it away but uh, i do have it listed so if they don't sell i'll figure something out for it that's the drop knife next one up is going to be a kaiser mini big lighter uh, this is fairly mini uh, this one is actually one of the ones that are from uh, Blade HQ. This is exclusive for them. It is very mini. Um, not really what I'm, I like too much uh, for it, but this is going to be a small knife. Uh, 154 cm uh, for this knife here. And I think it was at about $59. I know they had a resale on it uh, that went down uh, pretty close to that. So if you're interested, reach out. But this one's going for $47, uh, 2.9 inches uh, for this guy. Not deep carry clip, but that's going to be what they have for that. Uh, Kaiser does a good job with their knives. Interesting packaging. Uh, they always do a good job on their packaging as well. Really a standout company for that. But if you guys want to check it out, it's on orionknives.com. Uh, that is going to be where you can make all the purchases. You don't need to email me. You don't need to say, I want that knife. Go buy the knife. If it's not there, it's just sold out. It's gone. Uh, but that's going to be how that works for that one. So that one's going to be $47 for that guy. I did have a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog uh, with a cutout. Uh, that one uh, did sell already, so if somebody did see it in the Instagram post for that. And do I have a Benchmade Griptilian? There's a premium variant. I do like the Griptilian, uh, but this is just one I don't really carry. I have the D2 one, and then I have my Mini with the uh, Death Grip Scale. So this is going to be the uh, 20 CV variant. So still looking good, no scratches or anything on it. Uh, but there's going to be the G10 one. I don't know if it's discontinued or not. One of the websites is dis discontinued, but I'm not sure if it is. Uh, but this is going to be one that is going for about 187 uh, for retail. Uh, it's going to be 168 if you want to pick it up uh, for this Griptilian. There's a G10 scale instead of the injection molded materials. And then a 20 CV blade steel. So still lifetime warranty. Bench made in Oregon City. Okay. And that is one that's available for that. And again, if you guys have any questions, do let me know. If you have off-topic questions, let me know as well. I'll pull it up on the screen if there's any comments for it. Uh, but that's how we're going to go for that one. So Benchmade uh, Premium uh, Full-Size Griptilian, uh, 168 uh, normally about 187 and What else we got? So next up, uh, this is going to be kind of one that um, <laughs> it had um, on Knife. Uh, was it? Um, uh, one of the podcasts. I was thinking about it. Uh, so this is Wesson. Uh, this one was on which podcast was that? That was the uh, Knife Nuts podcast. So they ragged on this pretty bad. Now this one was the one that was out uh, originally. I did pick it up on the Kickstarter campaign because I did have the micro switch. That one I sold on the website already. Now this one does have a little bead with it. Now I did actually get the titanium pocket clip uh, for it. So there's a titanium deep carry clip. Um, the reason why I didn't carry it is because, man, so ragging on a knife I'm selling, but this is not good clearance for that titanium clip, and it's a loop over, uh, so it does come with the standard titanium clip that you can get with it here. So the standard one, you can put this one back on if you'd like, and put that one goes there. This is a, um, a Kickstarter one, uh, so they did have it here, but that is what we have. So Jan, what's up? How's it going? Uh, but so this is going to be one from them is the, called the almond so it's from wesson so they were complaining about a burnt edges this one doesn't have that so i don't know if they're getting cheaper as they go uh, but um, i know that they're talking about um, burnt grinds and stuff and this one doesn't have that so if you want to pick this up wesson's not for everybody uh, but if you are looking for a wesson knife this one does go for quite a bit it's s35 uh, on their website, it's 175 uh, With all the extra accessories and stuff, it's 157 If you want to pick it up. Uh, so that's going to be what that is. comes with this. 
comes with a knife, comes with a bead, so it's a pretty, uh, just a pretty big package for all those things. And I hate that I get a different box, because right now I'm putting all the stuff on the floor. In a moment, one moment. So getting a box, this, as I'm talking about, I was putting it back on the floor, I'd rather put it back in a box. So that's going to be the Wesson uh, for that guy. Next one up, uh, this is going to be a Tuya. This is a very tiny fifth pocket knife. Uh, so it's something you can pick up if you want to get it. Uh, this is going to be the Tuya, Tuya knife. Uh, so this one's an older model. This is the SNS. This is a 2.48 inch knife. So tiny. So I mean, this is Rat 2. SNS. That's going to be the size for that one. So this one is one of their premium variants. Uh, it was going for about 136. Uh, going to be for 95. Uh, there's S35 uh, for it and number 97. S35, 137. So two knife. Uh, two has been around for a while. Oh, have a good night, Dave. Diver Dave. Uh, yeah, check it out if you want to pick up anything uh, that is available on the website. So that's going to be on Ryan Knives. So the Tuya Knife, this is going to be premium titanium. Uh, that's going to be a very small knife. So if you're looking for that or you know somebody that really likes those, that is available. Next one up, uh, Artisan. Uh, there's the Arroyo. Where is it? Artisan Cutlery. So this is going to be the Arroyo. It's going to be the one with the Micarta. Uh, this is um, AR RPM 9. That's their proprietary uh, steel, which is the powdered steel. Uh, so that's going to be this guy here. So it was used a little bit, not abused, so no scratches or anything or no damage on it. Uh, but this one is going to be uh, normally priced at uh, BC 65.87. Uh, this is going to be for 40 bucks if you want to pick it up, $40. Uh, that's going to be on the website. Uh, not going to be free shipping with that unless you get to 85 bucks. So if you have two knives or if you want to pick up a Ryan knife, then you can do that and then get that for free shipping. Uh, that's going to be in the United States or to somebody that you want to send it to. Uh, so if you want to go to the website currently, you can do that because uh, I'm just going to be walking through these. If you guys have any questions on any of these, anything on condition or something that you might see, uh, then uh, let me know. And I'll do have like a timestamp. Uh, for it on the video once it's done just so we can get that to kind of taken care of and people can find things a little bit easier next one up is going to be a honey better so this is one that had a lot of hype a lot of hype for it everybody was talking about how great the honey badger was um this is one that is the worn cleaver um i got it it's it's okay it has a good drop it's something that is kind of cool but it just wasn't Anything that was so mind-blowing that everybody was talking about it. So it's going to have the FRN scales uh, for this guy. There's the one cleaver. This one's going to be a D2 blade steel. Uh, so it's going to be a smaller, not a smaller, but I think this is the medium size uh, for this guy. And then you're going to have the regular plucked up, so deep cherry. And that is how it looks for that. So it's a, it's a good knife. Uh, so it has good action for it. So it does drop. Uh, pretty well and hasn't been used at all it was just one that i got in and i was like yeah it's not bad uh, so it just wasn't one that i i mean i was late on the train for that i mean this was the secondary one they came out with um and then i just i didn't didn't review it so honey badger uh, that one's going to be uh, normally 58 bucks uh, 40 dollars if you want to pick that one up for a honey badger uh crkt now uh, the original now uh, one that had the field strip technology and that was uh, some of the knives here. So I actually like the original field strip over the secondary field strip. I do have a secondary field strip later on in the video. Uh, but this is going to be uh, one that is a Duhara design. Raikiri. Uh, this is going to be how that looks. So fairly big blade. This is 3.75 inches. Uh, and it's a like a 11 1.114. I think it's a German steel. Uh, so that's going to be how this looks here. Uh, so when you take it apart, uh, you're going to be uh, dropping that over, rotating the wheel, and take apart the knife, clean it out if you want to do that, and then it gets back to business. This one is very inexpensive. So 
I picked it up because it was inexpensive. I was like, oh, well, that's a great deal. And I just never carried it. I never used it. Uh, so 32 bucks, 32.99 was the original price. $23 for this big blade if you want to pick it up. And actually, if you want to experience the field trip technology and you haven't already, it's pretty inexpensive to pick one up and try it out. See if you like it. Um, it's kind of too bad that they didn't really go into that original field strip a little bit more. Maybe put bearings on it and everything. Because the secondary one, it just comes apart a little bit too easy. So not really too necessary. Uh, next one. Uh, another CRKT. And we have a few, few CRKTs in here. Razor GT. This one's going to be an assisted knife on this guy. So crown spine on it. Assisted. Kershaw is no longer have their patent for the speed safe technology. So that is where uh, you're going to have this knife here. Same type of mechanism. Um, they don't really have a name for it at this point, I don't think. Uh, but it is the same assist. So it does have the spring that you get here. And then it pops open. Uh, crown spine for it. Uh, aluminum handles. Uh, there's a pocket clip that's on this side. Not reversible. Uh, I don't know what this does. But I guess it's when you grab it with your hand, it doesn't fall off here uh, but this is going to be the one that's here razor gt so if you want to pick this one up this one is going to be uh, currently uh, regular price on is 51.95 36 bucks so what you're going to get for that if you want to pick that one for the crkt razor gt next one is from a company that's been around for a while they have a retail store and sometimes that's a little surprising but uh, v knives uh, this is actually one of the smoother knives out there, but you're going to have a lot of like things that people hate. Uh, so you can have tip down carry, off centered. I consider not selling it, but if somebody wants it, somebody can pick it up. Uh, but uh, V knives, uh, so it's very smooth uh, for it. So one of the smoother um, closing, closing actions for it. Uh, this is a 3CR blade. Uh, this one is normally at $29.71. This is 16 bucks. So if you want to experience it, uh, it actually is a pretty enjoyable action, so if you do want to fidget with it, uh, then that works pretty well. Uh, but injection handle here, uh, flipper tab, no thumb studs, but very smooth. Very smooth for that. Uh, so that's going to be what you have there. 2.8 inch blade on that guy, but 16 bucks if you want to pick that one up. And again, this is kind of the ones that have been sitting around for a while, so you're going to have kind of an eclectic uh, type of knives here. They're just going to be kind of random in some cases. Kind of the first ones were kind of like, I figured were like the ones that people really wanted or interested in. Uh, but we'll kind of go down. Uh, stat gear, we're going to go through a few stat gears. Stat gear. What comes in first? The slinger. Slinger. So there's one of the guys here. Little steel frame lock, kind of small guy. I thought it was pretty interesting uh, when I picked it up. Uh, this, again, wasn't really what I was looking for. Uh, D2 blade steel on this guy. Uh, currently, price is about $49.99. Uh, this goes for uh, 30 bucks if you want to pick it up. So blue with that gold. So little guy. So there's a 2-inch blade uh, for a little frame lock. So stack gear has been around for a while as well. Uh, they kind of stick to the lower uh, budget sides. Uh, but that's the slinger. Uh, for 30 bucks and then you do have the ledge this is one that was a kickstarter campaign as well uh, and then I forgot which one i had first open it up not that one so this one so these are going to be the same price uh, currently about 34.99 uh, they are slip joints uh, but then they don't have a stop or a um, a half stop so these are actually just going to be a full slip joint. So you pull it open, it doesn't have any half stop, opens, 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 and then it opens up like that. So very small uh, for this guy, uh, 2.5, it's not very small, but decently small. So it should be legal everywhere uh, for the most part, uh, 2.5 inch blade, uh, $39.99 is the regular price, 21 bucks if you want to pick this guy up. Uh, there's also a D2 blade steel, a funny pattern for it, does catch a little bit on the pocket clip side, that's kind of not the best thing about it, uh, but it is a little slip joint. Kind of cool. And this is the other color uh, for this guy. So same price, going to be 21 bucks. Uh, normally $34.99 on their website. 
little slip joint there or a brown um, insert. So it's basically the overland and they cut through it with the grooves. And then that's the brown, that's the red. 21 bucks uh, for those guys. And then we have some K Tactical. So K Tactical um, has been around uh, doing airsoft uh, items. So that's where they were kind of uh, doing their thing. But this is a little small fixed blade. Uh, so very small, uh, it goes onto your belt, uh, holds pretty well. And then this little small itty bitty blade, 1.5 inches uh, for this guy, 440 steel. Um, decent, I mean, it does dig in uh, right here, kind of with that little, you know, I guess that would be a pry area. But decent little knife, uh, it goes on their website very inexpensively. So inexpensive, $19.95, normally 12 bucks if you want to pick that one up. Real steel, uh, there is a slip joint. So this is gonna be the one from uh, White Mountain Knife exclu exclusive. Uh, this one is gonna be uh, the one that has D2 and then the Jade. So that's gonna be how that looks here. So don't have any rust or anything on it uh, for the knife, which is good. It does have a little bit of damage here where it hits the stop pin. Uh, so right there, you know, where it's the stop pin, uh, it does have a little bit of damage, that gym beam, so I don't know if that's just in the manufacturing process, uh, but this is kind of that modern slip joint from Real Steel. Uh, so they're doing really well with it. There's a lot of variants, uh, but if you want to pick that one up, this is normally at $29.99, yours for $19 you know, for that guy. All right, take care, Jan. Have a sweet day. Oh, yard work at the most front yard. That was getting a little out of control. Uh, sorry. Uh, this next two are going to be from a company called Yobo. Uh, you may not have heard about them before. Um, their name is kind of a little odd. I mean, it's your outdoor best tool. So, not the best naming, but very nice packaging. I like their packaging a lot uh, from what they do. Uh, so the first one is going to be the Silvac. That's going to be this guy. So, I mean, the name's on it. This is very nice packaging. It has all the um, information on the back as far as the um, the specifications. And then the knife. A little instruction card. And this one's the Silvac. So this one goes for, on Amazon, $54.95 uh, for this guy. And then $38 if you want to pick it up. Now uh, this is a VG10 blade. And then kind of odd on the pocket clip. It has like little um, barrel risers, and then it has the pocket clip for it. Uh, you could probably round out this corner a little bit because it does look a little bit of pokey, um, but that's going to be that guy. I actually like this one quite a bit. It actually works well, does a good job uh, for it, has nice action. Uh, I think it is a free spinning pivot, if I'm not mistaken. That was one of the feedbacks that I gave to them, uh, but I don't think they took on that very well. Uh, but that is a silverback, so not a horrible knife that came in. Is the next one is going to be a pretty big one and this one's i think bg10 as well yeah bg10 as well Whoop. also very available on amazon now uh, for this guy uh, this one's going to be uh 38 bucks normally 54.95 as well so it has a good flipping action to it uh it does have uh, all this milling for it so that does also kind of grab a little bit um, in using the pocket clip uh, also has a little barrel spacer uh, type of deal for the pocket clip uh, but uh, overall, it's good. I mean, it's just where, it just with the milling, it's a nice texture, but it also does add a little bit of texture when you point it in out of pocket. So that's kind of the downside of that. But this kind of just a run through on uh, different things. And then we'll kind of see on how they do uh, for if people want them or not. So that's going to be the two Yobo tools. And then you're going to have. A little Rough Rider. Rough Rider for the price, their boxes are pretty excellent. I mean, I don't, I mean, this box alone is I mean, probably a good portion of how much the knife costs. Uh, this is a doctor's knife. I like doctor's knives. This one just was not uh, what I was looking for. So if it doesn't sell, then I'll do something else with it. But um, it is off center. And then it does have a kind of a stiff action. But it doesn't have any play to it, so in the open position, 
So if you want to work with it and see if you can fix it or anything else, but uh, there's one of their copper series uh, for the knife. Um, normally it's like 15 bucks, 14.95 to seven dollars if you want to pick that up. Uh, but it's a good box. Uh, that's the most impressive thing about it was the packaging. Uh, so that's where uh, Smoke Mountain Knife Works does a really good job uh, with the Rough Rider line. Then we have this one that was kind of uh, controversial in a sense, uh, LA Police Gear. So it was one of the least expensive knives uh, with S35VN. Uh, when we were doing a lot of the really hard into the testing, uh, they had one with like 440 and then, or 420, I forgot what it was on the sheet, but the other one was S35, but it was like very soft. And so uh, this is one uh, that might just be kind of for the record books, but uh, this going to be LA Place Gear S35. Uh, this one did test low. It was like at a 52 Rockwell, I think it was. Uh, so it might not perform as well. Uh, but it still is S35 uh, for it. It was going to be the budget knife of the year type of thing, but once all that happened and they didn't respond to me and everything else, and it was kind of a, yeah, kind of wrote them off a little bit. But that's LA Place Gear if you want to pick that one up. Still has a good knife, still has a good feel. Was impressive if they just give the right, the right steel at the right hardness. Because the one that was like the 420 or 440, uh, that one was actually at a higher hardness. <laughs> but it's just like, uh, but anyway, LA Police Gear, if you want to pick that one up, it's uh, 54 normally, 54 dollars 27 bucks for that guy. Uh, Kershaw, we have a Sagan. So this is an assisted knife on this guy. So it hasn't been used for it. I picked it up, thought it was cool looking. I still don't like assisted knives. Uh, so that's where um, the blur is kind of really the only one that I really like as long as you can get the the texturing taken off because yeah, the blur with the texturing, you can't work with your pocket very well. Uh, so that's where I um, got uh, that one done up. But that's gonna be where you have here. So if you wanna have somebody pick this up, uh, it's 8CR, which is your standard flare uh, for their knives. Uh, this is normally 42.95, 35, 34 bucks. If you wanna pick that one up for the Kershaw, has the box and everything else. All these have boxes. And they're ready to go. Uh, we have a CRKT uh, helical. Uh, that is going to be so kind of odd, odd design for um, Ken Onion. Not really uh, one that you would kind of equate to him, uh, but this is a Ken Onion design. The helical is going to be aluminum on this side. Deep carry pocket clip, not reversible. Right hand uh, Tanto blade. So not bad looking. Uh, so this just one that I was like, I'll look at it and check it out, but it wasn't any one that I really liked very much. Uh, so it sat around, and now if somebody wants it, you can pick it up. Normally $48.95, now $39 uh, for this guy here. That's for the helical. So that's where, kind of going through right now, I mean, that's where it's just been sitting in a box, kind of like taking up space and kind of just stopping me from buying anything else because I'm like, oh, I have all those. Like, I can't do anything until I sell those off or move them along. Now, CH, CH is one that I think is a really good company. I, they don't get enough credit for it. They do have a new um, knife on Kickstarter, uh, which is called the Astro. It's almost sold out uh, from their um, their run. I can say only did a very small run unless they're going to actually make it a little bit bigger. That one is going to be titanium. I think it's 20 severe M390 uh, for that guy. This is their budget variant uh, that's here. This is the uh, 34, 3004. So very big blade, a 3.74 uh, for the blade length on this guy, D2. Uh, pocket clip there, backspacer, orange. So kind of just a budget knife for it. CH stands for Companion of Honor in asking uh, the company person about it. So that's what that is. Not a bad knife, but yeah, CH actually does a good job. Uh, so hopefully they can get a little bit more traction behind them and actually become more popular because they've been around for a bit. I've been following them ever since I've been in the, just been really more into the hobby. So that's that one. 
Next up is so American Buffalo. This is going to be the ABKT uh, knife. This actually is a pretty good one. Uh, so the Warthog, uh, I did change it up a little bit. Uh, so it did have a black hardware. This left hand clip does fit the Kaiser Dukes. So if you do have a Kaiser Dukes and want a deep carry pot clip, that could be only purchase right now. This would be for this clip because this does fit the Kaiser Dukes without any, any, any modifications and it works pretty well. Uh, but that's where that is. So that's the left hand clip since it is kind of molded to the knife. So that would be the left hand clip that they include with it. This would be a right hand clip for the Kaiser Dukes. Um, and the, But I did take off the paint on it and I did take off the paint on the pivot there. So that's what I did with that. So kind of a uh, different blade style. This one is, I'm forgetting about it, the one of the companies. And I'm forgetting the name. But there's a company that has a blade shape like this. So if anybody remembers what that is, uh, let me know as well. What's up, Terry? How's it going? But good action for it. Decent setup. Uh, not a bad knife at all. Uh, this one's going to be normally at thirty-four seventy-three. So again, good price. D two, uh, twenty-five bucks. If you want to pick that one up. And then again, if you have a Kaiser Dukes and you want to have a deep carry clip, that's what this would take care of for you. Uh, this one's an odd one. Uh, somebody I was talking to recommended it. It's actually not bad. The biggest thing I had with it was that looks like a Kershaw box. Um, I don't know why that was such a distasteful thing to me, but it just seemed like they were trying to copy, and I was just like, Wah. and then so it's eye, eye knife, eye knife, yeah, yeah. but it's on Amazon. Uh, this one is a cool little um, overlay, so it's a carbon fiber and gold. So that's what you have there. It's a nice, nice scale. I mean, no tech, no, no grip to it or anything like that, but it has the access style lock. Nice grind to it. But not a bad one. I mean, I've had a, I've had Benchmades that had play on it, but this one doesn't have any, well, eh, just a little bit. It doesn't really have too much in there, um, but I mean, it's a nice little knife. So if you haven't seen that company, uh, they are on Amazon, uh, but this one is normally, so price-wise, $25.43. 20 bucks if you want to get that one. You might have to work on some of the pricing because Amazon has like some of the free shipping stuff. So if there's something that you're really interested, let me know. That's that guy here. CRKT. So we have the Caligo. Now this one was serviced because um, they, it was hitting the backspacer. Uh, so they did service it. So this is the say there. I did replace it. I still have this knife now, but I have a D2 variant. This one's the 8CR variant. Um, this is one that won, I think, budget knife of the year is like 2018, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was one of the blade show knives as well. So nice knife, aluminum, uh, TJ Schwartz knife. Uh, so one of my favorite designers uh, for him. But that's going to be that one. Uh, $45.95 normal price, 32 bucks. If you want to pick that guy up. Then we have uh, another key tactical. Uh, this one is decent. I mean, it's not a bad knife at all. Uh, so this is one that is has an overlay for it. Uh, they say it's tight. I mean, uh, carbon fiber. I don't know about that. It kind of looks like a sticker, uh, but uh, it actually has a pretty good action. This is the only serrated knife that I have in, in the lineup. Uh, so serrated uh, for this guy here, a manual 3.34 inch. It's normally 24.95, 20 bucks. If you want to pick that up, this one I did purchase. So a lot of a lot of these knives are purchased, so uh, they're just been kind of sitting around, haven't been really covering them too much. But I do want to get back into getting some more knives, and I do have blade show coming up. So that's kind of where this, some of this comes about as well. So that's that one. We have a CRKT tuna. So when this came out, I bought it when it was brand new when it first released, and I just it wasn't too impressed with it and it just kind of like yeah and just sat around so circuit tuna uh, there's some premium variants on this one this is the baseline one uh, 3.25 inch blade normally 48.99 uh, 
Uh, this one is thirty nine dollars. If you want to pick this one up, so that is that. If you guys have other knives that you're looking for, then let me know as well. Uh, but we will have a timestamp on this stuff, all available on orionknives.com. So go over there, you can peruse the catalog of his word I'm talking about. So, Kodate, uh, this one is the Gen 2 of the field strip technology. Uh, so that's where I think it's a little bit too far the other way, where most times you, you, you don't need to take apart your knife. Um, so to make it that easy, of just doing this and this and take apart the knife it just it seems a little bit not necessary so that's just that switch you just go up and then up and it's disassembled down assembled again so it's cool uh, but not necessary uh, so i'm okay with using t8 or t6 torque bits taking apart a knife putting it back together and then even the original field strip uh, without any tools then you can actually take it apart a um, little bit more steps to it, but still takes off, takes apart pretty well. This one's a 2.6 inch blade. Uh, right now it's selling for $89.99, $72 uh, for this guy. Uh, wasn't really used for it. Just cut a box or two. Kind of sitting around. So that one is that. But that's the second generation field strip technology uh, for that guy. A BT fighter. Oh, that's not a BT fighter. BT fighter and so that's going to be here I like button locks CRKT was really where I started with button locks with the TITAC 2 and then I was hoping that they would come up with a better button lock so really uh, Orion knives came about from CRKT not giving me a good button lock uh, so that's where um, this is where uh, this one does have a good bit of play uh, so button locks are known for having play this one does have play in it so it does have a little bit of play here uh, but that's within tolerance uh, for uh, the knives that they offer uh, so that's what they have but brian tie knife this is the compact variant uh, this one is 2.875 uh, this is normally 44.95 uh, 33 bucks if you want to pick it up for a button lock uh, crkt from brian tie design it does have that little uh, ball on there too for the pocket clip so that's the pocket clip for it so it goes along with uh, kind of this custom work uh, for that uh what else we got um pilar large so they on the box it says pilar 2 but there's a pilar large uh, so this is the steel variant it is um, weight relieved on the inside of it uh, so that's going to be what you have for this one this one does have a little bit of surface rust on it which is odd because this is supposed to be 8 cr but and you have a little bit of surface rust on it. If you're going to use it, that's not a problem, but it's not horrible, horrible. Probably going to be cleaned off with a scotch Bright pad or something. Uh, but $34.99 is the current pricing for it, $24. If you want to pick this guy up for the Pilar Large for this guy. And then CRKT again. Not CRKT of the group. Now, this one's going to be... Everyone says that you should have, or at least I thought everyone was like, you must own an M16 of some variant. I did pick up an M16. I don't really care for it. Uh, so it sat around again. So I picked it up, handled it. I was like, eh, it's not for me. Uh, but M16, this is the M16-02S. So there's a Tonto blade for this guy. It does have the secondary lock if you want to actuate that um, to make it where it will not fail on you. The, it blocks out the liner lock. So you can actually not close it without disengaging it. But it's not an auto one. So I've had experienced some of them that has an auto where you flip it open and it automatically engages that. This one does not automatically engage. You have to physically engage the lock and that's where it doesn't disengage. But this guy is normally $41.95. Yours for $34 if you're interested in this guy. Or if you know somebody getting to, into knives and they want one. Uh, Amir, this one is the field bro. This is the access lock, lock style, um, but this one is I, uh, made by Real Steel um, from everything I can see, even the pocket clip's the same. Um, but that's this guy here. Um, this is uh, Uli Hennick, I think is the designer and the owner of Amir Knives. 
So that's going to be this guy here. So a G10 scales uh, has a texturing on it, uh, flat grind on it. Uh, so that's 3.25 inch blade. Uh, normally right now about $86.95. Uh, yours for 65 bucks if you want to try this out see if it works for you uh, this one does have good lockup no play uh, so that's actually something that's good something that some of the other knives that i have with the action style lock um, they do have a little bit of play to it what is it awesome thanks i saw some messages coming through um, <laughs> and then uh knife tastic but i wasn't i wasn't live so I didn't respond to it, but I did see some uh, messages pop up. So great, I'll take a look at that as well for this Lars. So and then that's where I sent this Lars over to him because then somebody uh, Winchester had him uh, do contouring on it. I just wanted to get it feel in hand to see how that is because uh, he really liked it. So I was like, okay, I'll send another one and see how it looks. And maybe it'll be an iteration that I can make later on. So that's going to be that one. Uh, another stat, stat gear, uh, this one is the Ossus. This is one of the first ones that I actually um, got in with it. The Ossus was a knife that I liked quite a bit. Uh, and this one is a micarta slab. And then it does have a D2 blade. A really a good smooth uh, thumb stud for it. Oop, failed it. Uh, but this is going to be how that looks. Not a bad knife. Inexpensive. $49.99. Uh, yours for 40 bucks if you want it. For this guy, three and a half inch blade. That was a kind Genzo Reviews. But yeah, this is going to be about 40 bucks if you guys want to pick this up. Also available, again, orionknives.com. There is the link for the regular store, and right below that, uh, there's a button for the used and review knives. Some of those are brand new. Uh, so that's going to be that guy. Uh, oh, coming up near the end of the box, um, we do have a Gerber Fastball. USA-made clipper. Uh, it's just... Wasn't really, eh, I didn't really care for it. So that's where it comes, comes about. Sometimes I pick something up. It's like, I want to support a USA brand. I want to give Gerber another try because they are trying to turn the ship. Uh, but Gerber Fastball and little green uh, scales on that pocket clip there. Reversible. Now uh, this one's a three inch blade. Uh, it goes for $109.99 uh, for this guy. Uh, this one is uh, S30 for the blade steel. Uh, 88 bucks if you want to pick this one up. Or if you know somebody that wants one of these, and then that is what that is. Cool packaging. I like how that all set up uh, with the topographical pattern. Uh, so Gerber. Hopefully we'll get more things done. There's some another Axis Lock style knife that I forgot the name of, uh, but uh, hopefully they can get things turned around. But that's a Gerber knife there. And last one that I have is another Kershaw. So that's the one here. So again, if you have any questions, key those up, let me know. Uh, so I can actually you know, walk through those questions or comments. It doesn't need to be out in knife sale. It could be about anything else. Uh, but if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Uh, this one's going to be uh, the payout. When I ordered this initially, I did not know it was assisted. I thought it was a manual. Then I got it and it was assisted. It's still a nice looking knife, but that's where that is. It does have a little bit of... Uh, surface rust on it and all I did is handle it so even up there a little bit of surface rust should clean up fairly easily uh, this guy is assisted at $59.95 is current pricing and 42 bucks if you'd like to pick it up yep yeah, and then you can go right to the website too if you want to go to Ryan Knives you can uh, peruse through uh, but I will go through and I will update it with a timestamp and everything else uh, once I get through the video and it's available to um, adjust. But if you go to ridenives.com, uh, there's the button for the regular store. And then right below that is a button for the used and reviewed knives. And you can look through that, get the pricing and everything else. But this is kind of where I could walk it through as far as if anybody had any questions on knives, I could answer it live if they're interested. Um, kind of walk it through, show people what they have. Um, but that is about everything. That I have, and I still have more. So I have four knife rolls from Blade HQ um, that are ones that I keep. Then I have knife knife cases and everything else. Uh, we do have uh, the Scorpio will be out uh, probably in uh, July is the plan for that. 
Uh, they are currently in production. Uh, so if anybody knew, so the Solaris is the first one, Scorpio is the second one. The second one is going to be a 2.75 inch blade. Uh, we do have the prototype here. So there's a prototype of the Scorpio. Uh, so that is compared to, this is the original Solaris. So playing around, uh, there's a glow in the dark type of thing there, but that's the Solaris, there's a Scorpio. So you can see the size difference for it. It's still going to be a button lock. That's going to come in blue or black micarta. Uh, so that's going to be the two options for that. And it does have the jimping there. I did add a little bit of a chamfer here. So if you're going to be doing any type of pinch grips and everything else, it'll have a lining spot uh, right here. So that's really the major change and also did crown the spine. So this will have a crown spine for the production model. Uh, so, but that is the knife there. Uh, if anybody else has anything else, Matt, how's it going? Yep, made it to live at the end of the live. So unless you guys have a lot of questions, we're going to be ending pretty quickly after this. But if you guys have conversations or anything else, or you, anything else you want to see, uh, then you let me know. And then we can extend it a bit more. But that is going to be those two knives there. Uh, a lot of the parts are going to be interchangeable. A backspacer, I did move this back as well. So that was an addition. So it was kind of rounded too much. So this was moved back a little bit more here. Uh, take out a few uh, strands of the paracord and it runs right through uh, for that. But that's going to be not the same as the Solaris. Uh, but the pivot collar is so that is interchangeable and then thinking about putting this backspacer on this knife too just so we have a little bit more parts that kind of are interchangeable between the two knives but that was kind of just a thought on that to see how that would work and then we do also have another knife that's in prototype but we'll get to those kind of one step at a time we still have this available in stock running low on the satin and or stone wash and blue um, but we do have um, them available so we have blacked out blue and red, uh, and then we have the stone wash, blue and red, and then we have accessories. And we still have the, uh, the carbon fiber, JG10, and the custom colored ones as well. Yep, what's the question you have? <laughs> no, you cannot have it now. You've been, you've been uh, really helping out, getting the word out for it, uh, so that's very appreciated, and we'll get some out for review and whatnot too. Uh, but uh, no, you cannot have one now. Uh, but that is going to be that knife. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go with G10 on this guy initially, so it's going to be my card, either black or the blue. Hey, got to try. You got to ask. Nothing. I would hit against you on that. So check out the website if you guys want to check out any of the used and reviewed knives that I have. So I have a box ready to go. Already sold the. Um, the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog with the hole instead. Uh, so that's going to be uh, the one that is already gone. Uh, but anything else is on there. So there's no emailing, no back and forth, no I want it. Go to the website. If it's there, it doesn't say sold out. It's available. Buy it. Uh, and then that is what is available. Uh, kind of get these moving along to somebody that enjoys them and uh, add to my Blade Show money. Uh, so that's kind of the idea behind uh, some of this. I might have some others coming up later, but that's the bulk of it as far as what I have. And that's about it. Um, yeah, I'll have some other videos because I'm coming out with Elite Tactical. Um, best budget knife that I have for the year also is going to be a buck knife. Now, so the buck knife Highline, if you haven't experienced that, excellent knife. Apocalypse sucks. Um, excellent knife otherwise. That is the only big thing about it. Uh, pocket knife is horrible. Pocket pocket clip is not good, uh, at least for the three that I have. Not good. I did put a different clip on it. Standard clip. Not much clearance. Snags only goes through your pocket about here. In jeans, different clip. Much better. Enjoyable. Works a lot better. So, major thing, very good knife, Apocalypse Horrible, works nice, cuts great, good stuff. Currently, budget knife of the year, except for that. So, I don't know if it's excluded from that, because, yeah, that's, it works, but not good. So, but steel and aluminum, so there's an aluminum front scale, a stainless steel back scale, and it has the overlays for it. So, cool stuff. Uh, for those. 
you have this guy here. This type of lock, Elite Tactical. So this is their DLM lock, Dynamic Locking Mechanism. So you just pull up on it. It's like a back lock. So pull up, close. So interesting stuff. Like this is like a thirty-six dollar knife for this big guy. But anything else? Anybody else have any question? What is that knife? That is Elite Tactical. This is the Parallax. This is the Elite Tactical Parallax. So this, take that off. Like it's, it, it weighs too much. It actually is more comfortable without it. So this, that weighs 0.6 ounces. So the knife is already kind of heavy. So 5.6 and then you put that back on it. The 6.2. Take that off. Not necessary. When you use it, it fits well in your hand without it. If without it, then it pushes further in. It, yeah. But yeah, 36 bucks roughly, I think it was. So, kind of cool. Elite Tactical. There is the thing, they know about all this branding and stuff. They, they know that people don't like it. But really, if you can find a good knife, and it said something you didn't want on it. It's a knife. Use it. Take care of it. Do what you want with it. They're trying to get to a point where they're like a really solid budget offering. That's at least their goal in things is to get it be a solid budget offering uh, for uh, Elite Tactical. So good guys over there. I've been talking with a few of them. I uh, saw them at um, SHOT Show. I uh, talked with them there. Uh, but yeah, cool locking mechanism for it. If you haven't experienced it, kind of like ant lockish but not it's like a back lock so it kind of pivots here so there's a bar that kind of pivots and it actually locks the knife then you lift this up so that's one thing it also doesn't you can't deploy it um, like by lifting it up so you can't you can't lift it up and deploy it uh, that's one thing that if you like that about the access lock not available here uh, for this knife um, eventually I want to get a setup like Civivi. Like I like their little booth that they have on their um, their YouTube videos. So if I can ever get that type of setup, front facing, top down camera, I might do that. But a lot of times I do the top down is because I woke up recently. I have like a random shirt on. My hair is all messed up. So this makes it easier. Like this looks the same all the time roughly unless I cut myself. Uh, but that is why a lot of that is like that. But any other questions? If not, if not, then I'm going to be ending that things as it goes. Anything else? Going once, going twice. Check out OrionKnives.com uh, for all the knives that I have put up for sale. Those are just the ones that have been sitting around that I haven't been using. So hopefully I can move it on to somebody that actually wants to use it. Enjoy it. Send it off to somebody else. Give somebody a knife uh, for the holiday. Don't forget Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming up next month on the 5th. Everybody has a mother. If you don't, then you have a friend or somebody, remind them. But that's coming up, so don't forget Mother's Day. Otherwise, you'll have no more knives. But that is about all I have to say about that one today. Check out the website. Check out the other ones. OrionKnives.com. Use knives. Pick up a Ryan Knife Solaris. The Scorpio is coming out uh, probably next month. Probably about, Ju no, not next month, sorry, July. So probably about July uh, for that one. It is in production now for that one. And then we do have another one in prototype phase. But that's about all I have to say about that one. Thanks for stopping by. Been almost, almost, almost an hour here. So thank you very much and have a good day. Got five of them. Yep, waiting on the Scorpio. That's how it goes. Take care.